For, oh, first one over here. Oh! <laughs> please, 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 please. guys welcome back to the matt mora channel and welcome back to honkai star reel today we're gonna go and do a little crash course guide on genius hacker and stellaron hunter silver wolf and if you like today's video make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment down below if i missed out on anything or any suggestions for the future also follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash matt Morrow, where i'm live streaming diablo and eventually i'll be streaming the new campaign that's been added on Thank you. <laughs> Silver Wolf is our newest five star quantum and ability type. Our best relic sets include the Musketeer, the Wild Wheat, or Thief of Shooting Media, whichever you can get the best stats for. And then her best planetary sets include Flea the Ageless or Sprightly Vodwalk. Now, Silver Wolf's best light cones include the free to play light cone that you can earn through the event going on right now is before the tutorial mission starts or you can get her exclusive light cone that's summonable is incessant rain both of these which increase her effect hit rate by a certain percentage and so on and so forth now for some of the best stats for silver wolf's relics for your body you want to go effect hit rate for her feet you want to do speed and then for her planar sphere you want to do a quantum damage Link Sphere, it's going to be Energy, Regenerate, and then for any substats, you want to get that effect hit rate up, and then Speed and Break Effect. And then if we're talking about skill priority, you want to go ahead and upgrade her ultimate first, her skills, her talent, and then her basic attack for less. Now team building with Silver Wolf can be pretty fun, because now you have the ability to run mono teams, such as Physical, or lightning even ice but you know one of these would probably be replaced with jeopard if you guys had them and then or like i said earlier duo you'll run two quantum two fire simple as that it's really up to your own creativity and who you have that will suit the team now the real question is should you pull for silver wolf yeah, me too, Peppy. So some pros can be that she actually gives some ridiculous duty buffs that can amplify the amount of damage that your DPS can do. She can do a lot of breaking. It's just the fact that she add weaknesses. I'm about to move from you, Peppy. Like I was saying, <laughs> she can give enemies new weaknesses and enable single type teams, which is pretty kind of broken, you know? Some cons to her is just that she could be kind of skill point hungry if you're unlucky. And then just the amount of investment that you got to put into her so that she can consistently put those debuffs on people. And I guess the only other one is that we don't have enough people to do a mono quantum team. So seal have race, we're going to have to wait. Unless, you know, you're going to juggle around your team. And you probably don't want to be having Chinky on your team. But if you do, you know. No, and that's your quick little run through on Silver Wolf. I did source my information from pridewin.gg using the Honkai Star Rail Silver Wolf page. And I'll leave the link for that down below if you want to go ahead and look at that instead. But thank you for watching the video and see you next time.